Do you lie to your hygienist? I bet you do. When's the last time you flossed, Mr. Johnson? Floss, picks, sticks. Let's talk about these. Welcome to another episode of You Can't Handle the Tooth. This is Dr. J, the real floss boss, uh, actually bringing you a video on flossing. So like floss boss, today is the floss video. Um, we did one of these a while back, but I don't feel like um, I don't feel like I published it well. I know that sounds kind of weird, and so I thought I would do another one and do it a little uh, updated one. Okay, so floss. Let's hit this thing first. There was an article that came out. Now I bet it's been about two years, and it made the news on flossing and how flossing really isn't that effective. Now. I'm a dentist. I don't sell floss. I make no money from floss. In fact, the better flosser you are, the less money I make. Uh, why would I care? Uh, I would like to think, yes, no one floss. Um, but I know I would make more money. I would have more dentistry if you didn't floss. 100%. This is someone, after they have brushed their teeth really well with a Sonicare, and then they floss their teeth. And as you can see, there is still plaque to be pulled out. Now the studies are incontrovertible. They are um, very, very consistent across the board of the problems with plaque. If you can't get rid of the plaque, then you are going to have gum disease. You are much more likely to have tooth decay, 100%. So yeah, if you can be plaque free without flossing, don't floss. But I know people who brush very, very well, even myself, and then I go to floss and I'm still pulling junk out of there. So um, uh, don't listen to that study. It is a bunch of boop, boop, boop. There are a bunch of different types of ways to floss. So I have patients that will come in and they go, hey doc, I just bought a water pick. And I'm like, that's amazing. Water picks are amazing. In fact, to me, anything you do is better than nothing. But if you're thinking, I'm gonna do a water pick instead of flossing, then I say no. So some people who use water picks, maybe they have arthritis. I know this is really, for most of you watching, this isn't an issue, but every once in a while, we have patients, they can't uh, mechanically brush their teeth, they can't floss. And so all of these gadgets and new things, even Oral-B uh, or, or Sonicare toothbrushes, amazing, right? They're life changers for people who are arthritic or struggle to manually brush and floss very well. Uh, but if you can floss and brush very well, there really isn't an alternative that is better. Now, there are, oh gosh, there are floss threaders. There are... Uh, those little proxit brushes, little brushes that you can kind of go in there. People use toothpicks. Uh, they have the floss on a stick. Floss on a stick, those are pretty good. But I will tell you, there is nothing better, and I'm gonna show you how and why, nothing better than manually flossing with your fingers, okay? And uh, so why don't we get right into it, okay? We got a few products that we wanna show you, because when you go to a drugstore, grocery store, and you look in, the dental section. I mean, it really is. There's a lot of products out there, which is kind of cool because uh, a lot of people are trying to make money, but they're trying to come up with ways to make your life easier, faster, all that stuff. So you can get a little dizzy looking at all the different products, but I want to talk about a couple of the main ones. And again, the brands mean nothing. So it doesn't matter what brand it is. I'm trying to talk about the mechanics. So keep that in mind. Okay, so first, let's talk about floss, okay? Um, you'll notice a couple of things before we even look uh, closer at the floss uh, and the flossing technique is there's going to be waxed, there's unwaxed, there's flavors, there's Teflon, there's tape. Uh, so there's, I mean, even with the floss, there's way too many things, uh, too, too many types to, to know which one is the best. I can tell you this, generally speaking, and you all know this because you've all had Teflon frying pans, which we love because nothing sticks to them, right? Okay, that should be the giveaway. Nothing sticks to them. The point of floss is to drag plaque out from inside of the gums and between the teeth. And if nothing sticks to the Teflon, it's going to leave a lot of junk behind. Okay, so that's the concept. 
Now, why do people use the Teflon? They don't use it because it's better. They use it because they have tight contacts. And sometimes when you don't have floss that has Teflon, um, it will fray. Like it can't get through the contacts or it's so tight that it pops down and, and makes the gums bleed when it shouldn't. So they're like, man, my contacts are so tight, I can't get floss in there, but I can get in there with the Teflon. So use the Teflon, okay? Double up the Teflon, do it three or four times. Whatever you gotta do is great, but just remember, you're gonna have to floss a little extra hard to make sure it pulls all the stuff out because it's very slippery, okay? Waxed and unwaxed, kind of the same thing. If it's waxed, it's gonna slip more, it's not gonna stick as much, okay? That's all uh, about those dental flosses. But now let's look at exactly the best techniques for flossing, okay? So you take enough out, about, about a foot, you know, or so, okay? And then what I do is I wrap this around my middle fingers. So a lot of people do their index fingers, which is fine, but, I, you know, it's like chopsticks. Chopsticks are tricky, right? You have to use two fingers and use another one to guide. That's what we're gonna do, we're gonna guide. So I use my middle fingers and I wind it up. And all it takes one time is one time over and then you cross over like that. And once it's crossed over, it's stuck. Okay, it's not gonna slip on you, all right? So I do it a couple of times, okay? And it's stuck, not going anywhere. Like it will cut the circulation off. And then these two magic fingers, I can, do what I need to, going up, going down, okay? Um, you, you, you get it wound up and then you start going back there through the contacts, you hug the front tooth, drag in back and forth gently, hug the back tooth and slide it out. If you have a bunch of dental work, crown work, veneer work, fillings, I don't like, if you floss down, I don't like pulling it up. Um, Everything is bonded in usually, it's usually very, very strong, but I just, in my mind, over the years, tugging up, tugging up on dental work that is supposed to stay down, I can only imagine. It's, uh, it's you know, you're, it's an adverse force that you need on your dental work. So do the flossing, get it done, and then slide it out. Okay, that's a tip to, to save your dental work down the road. Here's one more trick. If you have a space that traps a lot of food, I know this is gross, but that's what we do. Floss boss, take the floss, tie it in a knot, and then drag that knot through there and you'll get more stuff out. And if it's still not enough, tie a double knot, okay? Right on top of each other so that it's a little bit thicker, slide that through and you're gonna have much more success flossing, okay? All right, now let's talk about some of these other things that are good but not good enough. Now let's talk about these floss sticks, okay, these flossers. These are pretty cool because when I floss, believe me, there are times that my fingers turn blue and I get back and I go through all of them and you, who wants to take the time to unravel, rest, and rewind up? I mean, really, it's a time killer in today's uh, world. But. So we try to do as many teeth as we can. Next thing you know, your fingers are blue, you cut off the circulation, and it's super annoying. Not to mention, people don't like touching the floss. So these things are actually rather cool. If you don't floss, or you rarely floss, and these things encourage you and support you in flossing more frequently, then by all means, use these things. But are they as effective? The answer is no, okay? They're good but they're not as effective. A little toothpick on that end, I guess, if you wanna jab your gums. But here's the floss, and the problem with these floss threaders is you can't, it's very hard to get the floss parallel to the contact rather than diagonal. When it goes in parallel, that's great, but it's not enough to go down and come out. That's not enough. You have to go down and you should be hugging each tooth, okay? So like we, like we were showing you before, you can't hug the tooth very well. You can try once the floss goes in and you can pull it forward and try to you know mess around and get the uh, plaque out of there. And then you can pull it back to the other tooth and try to get the plaque out of there. Uh, but I'm telling you what people do with these things. Click, click, 
click, click, click, click. Okay, so they're good. It's much better than not doing anything, but it's not as good as manual flossing. The other thing about these is it's a little bit harder to make a smooth transition down into that little space through the contact. And you can often damage your gums by popping it down into the gums, causing your, teeth, your gums to bleed unusually, okay? Okay, the next one I wanna talk about are, these are sort of like, um, I call proxy brushes, okay? Or proxit brushes. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. Some are furry, like a brush. Some are bristly. And these here look like they're rubbery. These, they have rings around them, okay? And it's rubbery. And it gets a little larger. I like how it gets larger as it goes when it starts skinny and the slope is very gradual, not very big, because you're gonna be able to get in between there a little bit further. And then these little rings uh, grab stuff and pull it out. And you can go from both sides. So this will go in right at the gum line. You will go in and, and, uh, and mess around to try to get some plaque out with these things, okay? And they're good, but they're not as good as the traditional flossing, okay? So the moral of the story is, if you're able to, traditional floss around the middle fingers, use these two fingers for the lowers, use the thumbs for the uppers, slide around, hug, 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 slide out. Okay, see that? You like that trick? Other side, hug, 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 slide out, all right? And, that, and then you're going to improve your flossing. Your hygienist is going to be in love with you because you've done such a great job since your last visit. And when they say, how's the flossing been going? You can go, let me tell you. I saw a floss boss by Dr. J and it was, it's now amazing. I am the best flosser ever. And then the cleanings won't be as uncomfortable. You won't bleed as much. Well, let's talk about bleeding. I think that's an important subject to talk about because people will always say, oh, it bleeds when I floss. Well, it's bleeding for two reasons. Number one, you've either done what we've demonstrated in the, in the, in the video where it pops through the contact and traumatizes. You've actually cut yourself. That's one reason. That's a bad reason. The other reason is because when you have plaque that accumulates in between your teeth under the gums, it creates an inflammatory response and it's going to bleed. So the cleaner it is, the less it's going to bleed. My grandparents used to say, oh, you need to floss your teeth and toughen up your gums, you know, like get in there. And there's some truth to that. You don't really want to callous your gums by being really rough on them like you do when you get calluses from playing tennis. But the more you clean, when you first start cleaning your gums, they're going to bleed. But the more you keep them clean in a proper fashion, the less they're going to bleed and uh, the less sensitivity you're going to have. I mean, all these things, bad things that come along with not flossing, you're going to eliminate. And that is our Floss Boss video for the week. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Dr. J. Appreciate you tuning in to You Can't Handle the Tooth. And we look forward to seeing you next time. On the days I floss, I do it once a day. Rule number three, listen to Dr. J. Can talk again? Test, test, test. One, two, three. We're gonna floss it up, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna floss it, we're floss it. I don't know, bristly, bristly. Come on out of here. It's like Christmas, only the present you don't want for Christmas. I wonder if you can bend these. I don't even know what you call these.